I? Who, who are you? Well, who are you? I mean, suddenly out of nowhere, you come here and then you ask me, who am I? Uh, Grandma is... I, I miss Rachel. Don't you remember me? Um... Miss Rachel? No, 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 no. My name is Graham West 6.0. 6.0. I don't think I've met you before. Mm. Miss Rachel? That, that can't be. I just saw you last week. Don't you remember? We learned about simple past tense with our friends. Uh, did we? No, I don't think so. You know how we can use verbs in the simple past tense to tell people what we did yesterday, last week, or even five minutes ago? Um, that sounds interesting. Really fascinating. However, I'm afraid I cannot understand anything you say. Oh no! How can I go back to the year 2020? Or, I don't know, I, I cannot be stuck here forever? History is going to change. I think I forgot to turn off my stove before I came here. You what? <laughs> um, aha, uh -huh. I know. We can do something. Maybe we can try. What is it? Is it a time machine? <laughs> time machine? I wish we had one, but there is no such thing as back to the future, honey. Mm -mm. Huh? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Please, is, 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 is there something you can do? Please, come on, please, Grandma 6.0. I need to go back. Please help me. Um, well, panicking much? No, no, no. Don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Um, let me see. Huh. Instruction manual to the future. What's, what's that, Grandma 6.0? Um, well, as stated here, it is an instruction manual to the future. It says that in order to go back to the past, you mm. must learn about the future. Uh, okay, what does that even mean? Well, uh, in case you were not listening, it says here that you will need to teach others mm -hmm. about simple future tense. Uh -huh. And then you will need to complete a mission. Oh, okay, all right. I'm up for it. Let's go. Let's start with a short story. This is Sarah. Sarah is going to be 11 years old next Saturday. Her parents are going to throw her a birthday party. The party is going to begin at noon on Saturday. Sarah's dad is going to make some satay. Her grandmother is going to bring some watermelon. Her uncle, Brian, is going to bake a huge chocolate cake for her. Sarah will love her cake. All of Sarah's cousins will bring her presents. Sarah is going to open her presents after lunch. Then, everyone will eat cake and watermelon. Sarah is going to have a fun 11th birthday. Dear friends, do you think Sarah has celebrated her birthday yet? Hmm, you're right, she hasn't. Why though? Let's find out. Let's look at the first paragraph. Sarah is going to be 11 years old next Saturday. Her parents are going to throw her a birthday party. The party is going to begin at noon on Saturday and Sarah will love her cake. In these sentences, the writer says will, is going to, and are going to, to tell the reader about something that will happen in the future. We can also confirm that it is something that hasn't happened yet when the writer used the phrase next Saturday. We call these verbs the simple future tense. In simpler words, they are words we use to talk about something 
that hasn't happened yet. Besides that, we can also use them to talk about something we plan to do in the future, which can be next week, afterwards, tomorrow, or even later. Miss Rachel, when can I use the simple future tense then? Mm, okay, well, here are a few situations whereby you can use a simple future tense. You can use it to describe something that is sure to happen. For example, Colin's mother will celebrate her 62nd birthday tomorrow. We can also use it when we talk about what we plan to do in the future. For example, I will go to Esther's house tomorrow. Hmm. Can I use it to, let's say, talk about what I think will happen later? Like guessing what will happen in the future? Yes, you can! Here's an example. I think it will rain tomorrow morning. You can also use the simple future tense when you want to make a decision immediately. For example, I've left the door open. I will close it immediately. Hmm. Um, Miss Rachel, I like to make my own sentences in the simple future tense. Could you teach me how? Why, you've come to the right place. Here's three simple ways to make sentences in the simple future tense. First, use will. Add will before the base form verb to make simple future tense. If you don't remember what the base form verb is, it refers to verbs in the original form. It does not come with suffixes such as ed or ing. Hmm. It's like the original flavor bun. Like this one. Hey, where did you get that? You want some? Either way, focus. Nah. Focus. Nah. Can you give us an example of how we can use this formula, Miss Rachel? I'm gonna keep this in my pocket before you snatch it. Hey! Oh, all right, everyone. Oh, look here. Here's an example. Mm -hmm. Will plus go. Brian will go to Jeremy's house tomorrow. Will plus eat. Jeremy and Brian will eat some nasi lemak for breakfast next Monday. Mmm. Miss Rachel, do I need to think about subject-verb agreement whenever I make sentences in the simple future tense? Mm, no, you don't. No worries about singular or plural nouns at all. Awesome. You can use will for both. That's really wonderful. Thank goodness. I want to sweat. What? The sweat, but the hair is getting in the way. <laughs> Next, you can use shall instead of will. However, shall is a little special. You only use it with the pronouns I oh. or we. Is it like some special cool kids club? Yeah, pretty much. Use this formula. All right. Shell plus base form verb. Here's an example of how you can use it. I shall buy you a drink later. We shall visit our grandfather tomorrow. Hmm, you just sound like an ancient grandma from the past. What? Uh, well, I am from the past, you know. Okay, dear friends, shall is just a little more old school and we don't use it very often. Ah, so how else can I make sentences in the simple future tense, Miss Rachel? All right, here's one more way you can make sentences in the simple future tense. Use verb to be 
plus going to. Verb to be are words like is and are. Is is for singular subjects and are are for plural subjects. Interesting. Can you give us uh, more examples, Miss Rachel? I, I don't know why, but I'm getting so confused. I think our friends in front of TV are feeling the same too. <sighs> okay, let's look at these examples. I am going to draw. I is a singular subject. Am is the only verb to be used with the pronoun I. We are going to swim. We is a pronoun. It is plural. So we use it with the verb to be are. He is going to cry. No, I'm not. He is a pronoun. It is singular. So we use it with the verb to be is. Mm, Miss Rachel. How do I say not to to someone in the simple future tense? Here's how you do it. Just add not behind will. Here's how the formula looks like. Right. Will not plus base form verb. For example, Alex will not go to school tomorrow. Or is not or are not going to plus base form verb. Mandy is not going to help Caroline with her homework. Mm, by the way, Miss Rachel, is there any other way to say shorten simple future tense sentence? Mm, let's see. Well, there is a way. We call them contractions or the short form. Here's how they would look like in sentences. I'll go to bed at 10 p.m. He'll visit his grandmother tomorrow. They'll bake some cookies for sale next Sunday. Phew, that sounds good. That will help me to save a few more seconds of work. Are you that busy, Grandwiz 6.0? Well, you've been from the past, so you don't know how busy I am right now. All right, dear friends. I think Miss Rachel did a great job at telling us what simple future tense is, right? Let's give her a two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. You're too kind, Grandma 6.0. <laughs> Everyone, let's see whether you understood what we learned today. It's practice time! Activity 1. Change the base form verbs in the brackets to the simple future tense. Choose the correct answer. Let's see if you can get it right. Number 1. Amin visit his grandmother tomorrow. Is the answer A. Visits or is it B. Will visit or C. Will visiting. Yes, you got it. It's B, will visit. Number two, Raja and his aunt may cook some delicious chicken curry next Friday. Is the answer A, is cooking, or B, shall cook, or C, will cook? B -b -b Bingo, you got it. The answer is C, will cook. We cannot use B because shall is only used with the pronouns I and we. Number three, Alvin's teacher scold him for not completing his homework. Is the answer A, is going to, or B, are going to, or C, am going to? Yep, that's correct. The answer is A, is going to. Good job, friends. You're doing pretty well for now. Hmm, Miss Rachel. Let's see. It seems like you need to give our friends in front of the TV two challenges. Okay. Two challenges. Mm -hmm. If not, you might be stuck here, dare I say, forever. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Let's wait. not waste any more time then. 
Okay, here's your first challenge, dear friends. Look at the pictures. I'm gonna ask you a few questions and you need to predict or guess what's going to happen by looking at the pictures, okay? Remember to use the simple future tense. Grandma 6.0, could you help me with this? Please, 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 please. Hmm, I'm up for a challenge anytime. All right, here's the first one. Number one, Jenny wants to watch a movie. Where do you think she will go to? Hmm, I think she will go to the cinema. Is that right? You are absolutely right. Here's the next one. Number two, John is in year five. He wakes up at 6 a.m. to brush his teeth and change into his uniform. Where do you think John is going to? Hmm, he wakes up at 5, school uniform. I think he is going to school? Yes! You got it right, Gramwiz 6.0. Good job. Here's the next question. Number three. Sally and Joyce Kimchi and bibimbap. She loves BTS too. She's planning to go for a trip. Where will she visit? Hmm. Kimchi, bibimbap, BTS. So easy. She is going to South Korea, right? Bingo! You are doing such an amazing job, Gramwiz 6.0. All right, let's try another one. Number four. Michelle just finished running a 21-kilometer marathon. She's rather thirsty. What will she do when she finishes her race? Hmm, this is so easy, Miss Rachel. This shouldn't be a question. <laughs> um, I think she will drink some water after she finishes the race. Nice one, Gramwiz. That's correct. Can we please do one more? One more. Why not? All right, yes. practice makes perfect. Let's do one more question. Number five. Hannah was very sad. Her best friend Noah knew that she loves flowers. So she, he got her some beautiful sunflowers. How will she feel? Oh, that sounds lovely. I think she will be very happy. And I also think that Noah is such a thoughtful person. You're absolutely right. And yes, I think Noah is a thoughtful friend too. Well, Miss Rachel, do you know that we can also use the simple present tense to talk about the future? Huh? But, but, but how is that even possible? Isn't the simple present tense used to talk about things that uh, happen every day? Well, 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 looks like you don't know everything. Clearly, we can use simple present tense to talk about scheduled events, meaning things that have already been planned at an earlier time. And we cannot change the time. For example, the movie. The movie starts at 8 p.m. tonight. The people at the cinema have already set the time for the movie. We, the customers, cannot change the time. We can only tell you when it will start. Here, we can use the simple present tense to talk about when the movie will start. Mm, oh, I see. Interesting. Can I also use the present tense to talk about something that I have already planned and am sure will happen in the future? That wouldn't be a problem. Use the present continuous tense, meaning use is plus verb and ing and add an adverb of time for the future. For example, my grandparents are visiting me for Christmas next year. This is new to me. They don't call you Gram Wiz for no reason. I'm flipping my hair. 
version 6.0, improved and upgraded for six decades. Speaking of which, Gramwiz, I, I think we're, we're running out of time. Look, look, the, the sun is setting soon. Oh, uh, calm down, Miss Rachel. Uh, you're not Cinderella. I mean, you don't have anywhere to rush to, right? What does the manual say? Tell me, tell me, tell me, please, please, tell me, tell me. Let me check it again. Um, uh, by the way, just relax. Miss Rachel, look here. It says, give everyone a quick review on what they have learned. Okay. Do it, do it. All right, all right, all right. A review coming right away. Hmm. Dear friends, Today, we learn about simple future tense. We can use them to talk about our future plans, something we plan to do immediately, or things we think will happen in the future. We use them with adverbs of time. Basically, words that tell you that something is happening in the future such as tomorrow, next week, or later. We can use simple future tense in positive and negative sentences. We can also use them to ask questions. For example, What will Brian do in the afternoon? Brian will call his mother in the afternoon. This is a positive sentence. Brian will not call his mother in the afternoon. This is a negative sentence. If we want to shorten will or shall, we can just add the suffix ill behind a pronoun or a noun. For example, instead of saying, I will go to bed at 8 p.m., we can say, I'll go to bed at 8 p.m. Instead of saying, we shall buy some groceries at the market. We can say, we'll buy some groceries at the market. Besides using the verbs will and shall, you can also use verb to be plus going to plus base form verb to talk about the future. For example, Jane is going to eat some noodles for dinner tonight. I almost forgot about that, Gramwiz 6.0. Thank you for having my back. My pleasure. Now, let's see. I dropped the manual, so I'm gonna go get it again. Um, it seems like you need to give our friends in front of the TV one final last challenge before you can go back to the past. Hmm, okay, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there lived a little grasshopper who loved to play. He played all day and never worked. The hardworking ant did not like him. The grasshopper would ask him to come play together, but the ant would always say no. Soon, winter arrived. The grasshopper. Oh, what's happening? Miss Rachel. Miss Rachel? Oh, wake up. Oh no, something is wrong with Miss Rachel. Dear friends, we need your help. Here's your mega challenge of the day. You need to do this to save Miss Rachel. If not, she'll be stuck here forever. What do you think will happen to the grasshopper? Write an ending to the story. You can write it down on a piece of paper or in your notepad in your phone. Then take a photo of it and post it up on social media with the hashtags, hashtag cram it right, hashtag cram with, hashtag grammar made easy. Hurry, we don't have much time left. Till then, thank you for joining us for today's show. See you again in the past. Bye.